Hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. So Dot is in a support zone at the moment. It's this wave two support zone that we talked about in the last few days. We've seen here an initial rally in wave one that was between the 5th of August and the 8th of August. Then a pullback, which appears corrective in nature. So we call that a possible one, two setup. Yeah. And then another one, two setup. Could it be an ABC so this is just a three wave rally it's possible but this which by the way would be bearish right but this rally reached a 61.8 extension of the initial one two setup that is a great target for a wave one in a larger third wave like in circle three let me just change the wave degree here so I you know the white count just by looking at Fibonacci extensions, proportions, everything, the white count is a little bit more likely. What could be the case, however, is that the orange count is playing out. I would, I'm very neutral between them, you know, both of them. What's the orange count? The orange count just indicates that we're dealing with a larger, with a larger one, two setup here in, in orange, um, indicating that we are in a large wave two correction in a flat correction after the price topped in wave one this wave two never finished and yeah you could say but okay but isn't that the one two doesn't that look nice you know with the proportions and everything we're holding up a support yes the problem is the microstructure of this rally is entirely unclear and the move down starts to look a bit like a five wave move you see that and that could just indicate we're dealing with the orange count but even in the orange count it's just a larger one to set up also potentially bullish. It's just that the support level moves down to 385. So you could say that we have two bullish scenarios and the $4.39 level is the one that distinguishes between the orange one and the white one. So the 439 level is the one that distinguishes between, let's say more aggressively bullish and the larger bullish scenario. It's very important because um, even if it's the orange count, because of the overshooting B wave, the price might only make a you know might only maybe briefly go below 439. It doesn't need to test 385. So that that's what I'm tracking here at the moment for for dot. Um, I'm very much watching for a few parameters now that could indicate that a low has actually formed. So let me take you through which these are these parameters. So what we want to see is as a confirmation or initial indication that a low of sorts is formed, I want to see a break above the trend line. So we have three touch points, four touch points here on the trend line and then a break above the trend line and a break above the last high at $4.65. That would be an early indication that a low has formed because that would be a break above the last swing high and a break above the trend line that keeps the direct trend down while that is not enough confirmation to really say we're moving up in a third wave it is an indication and it would indicate that something structurally is changing well you know from, from when the, the market started this decline on saturday that's the update about dot hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.